Actress Taylor Hickson is suing the production company behind her new film over an injury she suffered on set. Welcome back to What's Trending, I'm Martine Bierman. Make sure to subscribe for more trending and social media news every single day. Taylor suffered the facial injury on the set of the indie horror film Ghostland. According to the lawsuit, which was obtained by Deadline, she was required to pound on a glass door and the director repeatedly asked her to pound harder and harder. Despite being consistently assured that doing so would be safe, the glass eventually shattered, cutting her in the face. She told Deadline, the craft services lady held my face together with napkins in her hands. She went through so many napkins, there was so much blood. We're gonna show you some photos of the injuries so you guys can cover your eyes if you're squeamish or turn away for a second, but come back. She was rushed to the hospital, gushing blood from her face and had to receive 70 stitches. It's been over a year since the incident and she still has a notable scar on her left cheek. The lawsuit alleges that this incident could negatively affect her career given how beauty-centric Hollywood seems to be, which is really, really Really sad and I actually read some additional stuff about her feeling super emotionally traumatized from this incident and if you take a look at the pictures it is very evident that there is a scar on her face the lawsuit also says that she's undergone laser and silicone treatment but that this will likely leave a permanent scar on her cheek the trailer for the film has a very quick moment near the end where a young girl can be seen in the background banging on a glass door so we assume that's the door that shattered Ghostland is having its premiere on March 14th in France and will be released in the United States in April. Taylor has also said that she will not be attending the France premiere. Ironically, the poster for the film features a young woman with a broken face and the biggest slash is on the left cheek, which is where the injury occurred. The director of the film, Pascal Logier, is not named as a defendant in the lawsuit even though he's the one who made her keep banging on the glass. Instead, the also ironically named Incident Productions Inc is on the hook for all financial damages. Poor Taylor is especially angry because it was her last day on set and no safety precautions were taken. What a crappy way to end shooting a film. She's expressed disappointment that this incident is overshadowing a film she's genuinely proud of and says she wants to maintain a relationship with her co-star, Emilia Jones. I think this is a two-fold situation. On one side, there's absolutely precautions, safety precautions that could have been taken to prevent the situation. There's a certain type of, I think it's not shatterproof glass, which you could use, but there's a certain type of shattered glass that doesn't break into tiny shards, um, so that if she was banging on this, then it wouldn't have done the same damage. They also could have used a stunt double. I mean, come on now. And I also think the other side of this situation is the whole industry aspect of it. This poor girl now has a scar, but I mean, in our society, we value beauty so much. It's like such a big part of being on camera. And actually, I was watching Fifty Shades Freed, and I was really appreciative that Dakota Johnson has weird, she has like kind of a funky tooth situation going on. To me, it just made her look more authentic and more beautiful. But in this situation, this just really sucks for this girl. My hope for this girl is that maybe she can utilize the scar as like her thing. It's obviously unclear how much her career is actually gonna suffer from the scar, but after my words of wisdom, I hope she can use it to her advantage. Though Taylor appeared in Deadpool, she won't be seen in the upcoming sequel. According to IMDb, she has multiple projects coming down the pipeline, including the team drama, Giant Little Ones, and a TV pilot called Deadly Class. She also has a YouTube channel where she performs musical covers, though she hasn't posted one since the incident. What do you guys think? Do you think that having a big scar is going to seriously impede her career in Hollywood? Let us know in the comments, and make sure to like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.